So three easy tips how to create a perfect foxtrot. And what we have to do? Uh, tip number one, how to dance timing slow, quick, quick. Uh, tip number two, how to dance open step. And tip number three, how to dance heel turn. In Foxtrot, we're using timing slow, quick, quick. Do we do slow, really slow, and quick, quick, very quick? And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Not really. Uh, slow, quick, quick is a timing. It means how much time we have for count slow and for count quick. In the count slow, we have two beats, one and two, and in the quick, we have only one beat but we're still going to dance them slow, smooth, and continuously. With count quick, everything more understandable. One beat, one step. But count slow, it's a two beats inside of the count slow, and here we have to figure out how to take this step. How are we going to dance count slow when we take step forward? We take preparation step, and, and then on the count one, I'm lowering and sending my right foot forward, one. And on the count two of the count slow, I transfer my weight on my moving foot, two. How are we going to take step slow when we take step backward? So, preparation. And on the count one, I'm lowering and sending my free foot backward, one. And on the count two, I'm transfer my weight on the left foot. And slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. Tip number two. How to dance open step. What is the open step? For example, when we dance walls on the count three, we bring our feet together. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, Three. Oh, one, two, three. What are we doing in the foxtrot? In the foxtrot, step number three is open step. A slow, quick, quick. And slow, quick, quick. And how to dance open step? Let's start with the man steps. I'm going to start with feather step. And slow. Quick, and now, guys, I'm going to send my right foot forward and split my weight 50-50. If I'm moving too much forward during the lowering, I'm going to lose my balance. But if I'm going to take open step with 50-50 weight distribution, 50% on my moving foot, 50% on my left foot, on my standing foot, during the lowering, I'm going to have good balance. Same idea for reverse turn. Slow, quick. Now I'm going to split my weight 50-50. 50% on my right, 50% on my left. And when I'm lowering, I have very good balance. And ladies, your open step. We're going to take feather step, for example, also. Preparation and slow, quick, quick. In the uh, end of the feather step, we have open step. 50% over my right, heel of my right, and 50% over my left, ball of my left. It's allowed me to make a very controllable lowering after that. And slow, quick, quick. And uh, tip number three. Very important step, heel turn. And how to do our heel turn? First of all, we need to make a good preparation. We're lowering on the left foot and preparing our right foot by swinging our right foot backward. Then we're going to take a count slow. This is step backward, slow. Then we collect our heels and make a heel turn. Then rolling from the heel on the ball of our feet. And after that, take a last step forward. And one more time, a lowering and preparing. Going to take step backward, collect feet and make a heel turn, 
roll from the heels to the toe, and finally take a step forward. And a slow, quick, quick. So three tips for your perfect foxtrot. Foxtrot timing. We using most of the time slow, quick, quick. In the count slow, we have two beats, and we are taking one step for these two beats, and in the count quick, we have only one beat. It's simple, one beat, one step. And what we have to remember about open step? First of all, we don't collect our feet as in the walls, and we have weight distribution 50-50. Heel turn is a very special foxtrot step. And what we have to do? First of all, we have to do correct preparation position, lowering on the standing foot and moving free foot backward. Secondly, we have to take step slow, taking step backward. Then make a heel turn, and after that, guys, we need to transfer weight from heel to the toes and take a last step forward. 